Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Hey Grains, it is this time of the year where I buy every single Mariah Elizabeth merch and review them all. For those of you who don't know Mariah Elizabeth, I don't know what rock you're living under, but <clears throat> let me introduce you. On top of being a really good friend of mine, Mariah Elizabeth is one of the biggest creators here on YouTube when it comes to crafts and quirkiness. So she has different series that range from squishy makeover, thrift store makeovers, and just generally painting on things. If you're not familiar with her, you will absolutely fall in love. I will link her down below. And every year, she comes up with different collections throughout the seasons in order to shower you with some fun things. But, 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 but. As always, I will give you my honest opinions with all of these different materials. Let's look at what we have. We have an exclusive Mariah Elizabeth DIY eraser kit. I'm really excited to see the texture of this kit and everything that we get on the inside. I don't remember what's in there. I've pre-ordered it a long time ago. Next, we have a planner set, which I'm really excited about. I'm actually excited about all of them. I just want to test them all, take them to their limits, see if they're compatible with different materials. All for your knowledge. And as you can see, we do have a sketchbook. So I'm curious if it's purely a sketchbook or can it take some colors? So we're gonna try different materials with it. Additionally, I also picked up the Georgie pencil case, which is one of her iconic characters, a Pickle the Dinosaur laptop sleeve. In previous videos, I've gotten Pickle everything, everything from a onesie to an adorable pencil case, and yes, even my own little Pickle plush, who sits in my background too. What can I say? Pickle and Salty are just BFFs. Hey Salty, we're best friends, aren't we? I think it depends on the day. Oh, these two are just magnificent together. And lastly, we have a rainbow backpack. We're gonna test how much we can fit in there as well, so don't worry, Grains. We were gonna do the fit test to know what everything can take. In the same way that we did with the pickle pencil case. You can see that I've tried to stuff it as much as I could. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We do all sorts of reviews and quirky things over here as well. Click on all notifications while you're there. I do wave sharp pointy things, but don't worry, you will learn to like it. By the way, spooky season is right around the corner and my really good friend Ace of Clay has a digital limited time coloring book. So if you're looking for some fun stuff, I'll leave the link down below. Hurry before it ends. All right, so... Let's start with the eraser clay. So we're just gonna move this here and that one over here and then we're gonna take this one. So we're going to check out the eraser clay set and I have to admit the packaging is absolutely adorable. We have Pickle. Hello. Georgie. Howdy there. And Pickle's cousin. Well hello. Oh I didn't expect that accent. <laughs> And in the back of the box, we get a little message to know what we can do with this. But let's, let's get to straight to the point and see what's inside. Ooh. we get inside. We have our primary colors. That way we can make basically every color. Green, yellow, and orange. This is kind of a fluorescent -y yellow. And of course, black and white to make our details. We also get three pencils in different designs. One of them is a rainbow. The other one is a cute polka dot. And last but not least, we also have a Georgie print. Pineapple. And when she announced this set, she actually showed that you can make eraser toppers for these pencils. If you grains want to watch it, I will link her video down below. And, ooh. We also get plastic tool sets. That way you can use them for texturing or making something a little bit more interesting, either some type of scale, smoothing ends together, making indents. You can even use this for texture, more texture, and also a plastic knife. I may or may not have gone overboard because I ordered 10 more of these eraser clay sets, which means a total of 11, which means I may or may not have plans to use all of the kits for one project putting it out there. If it's something you want to see, make sure you like this video. If your grains can get this video above 20,000 likes, I'll do it. I'm gonna regret it, but I'll do it. And not to mention, we get a cute instruction sheet. This is absolutely adorable. I love the fact that the oven looks like pickle. Nice touch. And basically, we shape our item, bake it for about 30 minutes, 
And then after, we have to wait an hour before using it. You know what? I'm glad I started with this so that I have time to let it cool down and then we can use it. Now, eraser clays are really hard to work with sometimes. Some brands are just so crumbly that it's impossible to use. Other brands, they start off soft, but they don't erase very well. And the happy middle, I know this is going to sound bad. The happy middle is somewhat crumbly at first, but then it gets soft. I know it sounds weird, but I mean, it's eraser clay. It behaves very differently. So let's go ahead and get a good feel. Let's start with the black clay and let's hear that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, oh, oh, that is the good texture. So you can see here, it's a soft and crumbly texture. So you can see the crumbles here, but the second you start smushing it together, oh my God. That is a dream to work with. This is the perfect texture. Oh my God. I knew Mariah is a stickler for quality like me, so this makes me really happy. I don't have to go all salty. I don't have to do. But yeah, this is great. Very nice. So with the eraser clay, let's go ahead and make something really small. It's just going to take a few seconds for you grains, maybe a good couple minutes for me. But I decided to make a little salt shaker. I mean, come on. <laughs> salt shaker, it's cute, you know? I mean, since here we are all little grains of salt because we belong to the salt shaker family, it needed to be done. It's very basic because, you know, I want to keep as much clay as possible for the bigger project. All right, off into the oven it goes. By the way, I just wanted to get rid of some of the extra plastic sticking out, so I'm using a nail filer. There you go. Actually, before we put it in the oven, I want to be very clear. I am pretty decent at sculpting. Here are some examples of my My Little Pony customization, or even my T-Rex that I put together, and many, many other amazing sculptures. Today, I'm just going super mellow, super easy going, so I'm putting like maybe an effort level of two on 10 at best. Off to the oven. One hour later. All right, so let's go ahead and do a light version, test a normal version, and then a really hard version. This is almost impossible to remove. I mean, look at the normal eraser. It just removes it, but not entirely. So let's just keep that in mind. Here's our little eraser, <laughs> the face. And here's with light, very nice. Here's with medium, also very nice. And now with the hard, not bad at all. Good job. You done good, little buddy. I'm gonna be honest with you, Grains. If there was anything I was the most worried about in this bundle of Mariah Elizabeth merch, it was this kit. Eraser clay is so finicky. It's so hard to get right. More often than not, it's just crumbly. It hurts your hand to get it soft. So part of me was like, ooh, this is gonna work. Let's just get this one out of the way. I'm so scared now. <laughs> but I'm so happy that it is wonderful. Next we have the planner set, which I have no idea what's on the inside anymore. It's been, it's been quite a while. So let's discover this together because this is not just my journey. This is our journey. This is we's journey. We, we go through this together. And as usual, the box design is absolutely adorable and on brand. This is what I absolutely love. Attention to detail makes the experience more interesting and just more fun. We can see a little pickle on the side, kind of wearing a scout type uniform. And then we have Cousin Derp just hiding for some reason. We have rainbows because Mariah. I mean, that's kind of like my signature thing. And in the back, we do have the visitation of the squishy ghost, her little pig character, and of course, just some fun design signs all over. We also see Pickle again. And let's do the opening. Voila! Oh, wow. Okay, let's take a second to appreciate because as soon as I open the box, look what we have here. We actually have the contents of the box listed over here. I don't want to take too much time to look at it because I want to enjoy every single thing on its own. First, we get a sticky note rainbow. It's a very faint pastel-y color. That way your ink and pencils actually show. Oh, that's cute. You know what? Let's unwrap them. Why am I keeping them in the wrap? We know it's going to be used. And here it is, the sticky part actually starts pretty low. Look at that, that is a nice stick. Oh, look at that stick. Oh, good for you. And then we have the dessert themed one. And for this one, we get a drizzle and sprinkles on top. How's the stick on that one? 
pretty good. My nose is curved, so try not to stick it on curved surfaces. I have a dessert master. <laughs> this is a gr- This is a great- This is honestly great sizes because I love to put a lot of notes, so these are perfect for me. <gasps> oh my god! So we get an absolutely adorable pickle keychain. I know I saw keychain on the list, but I was like, no, no, I'm not looking that. Not looking from here, not looking from here. And it has an absolutely shiny gold back. It's like, oh, that's very bright. Oh, wow. But it's basically like having a pin because the outline is actually embossed. Well, sticking out. And just look at these details. And if you don't want to use this as a keychain, you can use it as a bag decoration, which is most likely what I'm going to end up doing. So you can just hook it from the side of your bag and you have a cute little pickle hanging out there. This in itself is a pretty valuable. And then I see stickers! Oh my god, stickers! Oh, so cute! I'm not a person who usually writes in planners because nobody tells me what to do, not even myself. I am a rebel without a cause. But holy car! That's cute. That is really cute. We have hula days. And it doesn't have to be an actual hula day. Holiday. It can just be a day off for yourself. Mental health day, creative day, anything. We have birthdays, because that's always fun to put there so you don't forget. Here we have for test. Again, I really love these designs. They're just so playful, fun, on brand. With pickle, we have adventure. Oh, that's why pickle is in the scout suit. So whether you're going on a trip, or doing something different. This is a good one. And of course, we're going to have arts and crafts because if you're a fan of Marie Elizabeth, you're probably creative in one way or another. And then we have chores. See, this is where you lost me. I am going to do chores. <laughs> Next, we have a washi tape. Oh, that is nice. So you can see on the tape itself here, it's a pastel color. When you pull it out, not so pastel. Let's tear it. Very easy to tear. And if we're going to put it on a piece of paper, again, very pastel-y. And let's see the stick on this. Part of me wishes that these boxes just smelled like cupcakes, because, I don't know, I associate Mariah with cupcakes. That's a good stick. I don't know why I measure my nose as, like, the good stick part. Don't ask questions, because I have no answers. Yeah, good stick. And now for the pièce de résistance, let's see the planner. Oh! So the planner itself has a bit of an abstract feel. If you're not into Mariah Elizabeth, you will still enjoy the colorfulness of it. If you're into Mariah Elizabeth, you'll know exactly who these characters are. Let's see the back and nothing. And we have our little thing here and it is 20, 21, 22. Let's see what the organization looks like on the inside. Before we go actually into the planner, listen. The paper that the stickers come on are not just thin paper, dollar store type quality. You can feel that this is good quality. And yes, we do get one sheet of each. Okay, ready? And... <gasps> oh, that is cute! That is cute! So it actually does start this month, which is helpful because, I mean, they were shipped out this month. <laughs> and then we have October and we get a spooky type theme. I love the fact that this can double up also as a relaxation type activity where you can color in the characters. So September, October, November, and then we have December. I like the frozen little pickle. That's really adorable. And then here we go with January and it looks very festive, very cute. And each month is in theme. Holy carp Mariah. This is a lot of work. Great job. So we're going through each month one at a time. April, we have May, June, July, August. That is very beachy. September looks very educational. October back again. And I love the fact that it wasn't just the same recycled image. It is a completely different drawing image. Drawing image. <laughs> picture for October, November, and December. And then we go into, oh, this is a doodles page, very Mariah-esque. And then we have some notes that you can go ahead and basically put it in there. So this leaves a lot of freedom to organize it the way that you do want. And here you have an overview of the year where you have your tests, your meetings, your vacation, scheduled time for yourself, all of that stuff. And then at the end, what do we have? 
Oh, yearbook signatures. <gasps> oh, cute. I'm a sucker right now. And I'm, I'm salty, but today I'm sweet for some reason. So here we have yearbook signatures from her different characters and from Mariah as well. So I'm not going to go ahead and read those so that you can enjoy them in your own book. And then you can collect the ones from your friends. We have many, many more. And that's basically it. This is adorable. I really do love the fact that there's a coloring page for each one. Very cute. Now it's time for the sketchbook and I want to test so many different kinds of medium on there. I love the fact that it comes in a plastic container just in case, you know, oh, what the heck? That is great <laughs> over protection. Not only do we get, oh, it's like a pencil case. <gasps> Why didn't I think of that? This is genius. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Okay, I thought it was just a protective sleeve, but it's actually a case so that you can put all your art supplies on the inside, whether they be crayons or, well, pe pencils, wooden pencils. Stop judging me! That really, I, whew, I am not always the brightest cookie. Wait, the smartest cookie. Not the brightest lamp or the tastiest cookie. <laughs> what? All right, let's remove the uh, protection because we have quite a bit of glare in here. And the sketchbook is a nice tan color. I love tan paper. It just, for me, it reeks art. It's like, I'm an artist. Well, do you have tan paper? No, then you're not an artist. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did I say earlier? Stop judging me. I probably shouldn't judge you either, but I am. And honestly, the feel of this, oh, that is cardboardy. Look at that. Again, we're working with good quality, not some of that flimsy, papery kind of quality from the dollar store. You know you get in your price's worth. And we have the different characters in front. We have the word sketchbook. Let's see the back. Okay, this is nice and hefty. Look at this. It's a quite hefty. And the inside. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. The issue with sketchbooks is sometimes these flaps are stuck to the paper, so you have to kind of bend it just to get something going on, and then it's just annoying. But the fact that this leaves you the space here means that you can open your pages all the way. This is lay flat. Let me get my trusty felt so you can see better. So I don't know if you grains can tell, but this is basically a sketchbook that lays flat. Holy carp, which makes it so much easier to draw. I don't remember if she said it in her video. I know I'm, I have goosebumps right now. Mariah, I don't know if you said it in your video that this is a lay flat sketchbook, but this is a huge perk to have a sketchbook that lays flat. Major perk. What I also wanted to mention is the paper quality is pretty thick. So as you can see here, it does look thick, but sometimes we can't tell just by the look that the papers that we have to hear that stuff. So here's the sound of this paper. And here's the sound of printer paper. Let's hear that again. Printer paper, Mariah paper. So it's somewhat cardboardy. And also because the paper is white, it's kind of hard to tell if there's any kind of texture. So let's go ahead and take a colored pencil. Ooh, it has a nice bite to it. In case anyone is wondering, I'm using my Prismacolors. And let's go ahead and test out another color. This is nice. This paper is nice because it's complementing the actual colored pencils to make the picture more opaque. Like, well, the color. The pigment is just really shining on this paper. We're also going to see if any of the colors leak through. So let's try alcohol markers. For those of you who don't know what alcohol-based markers, basically like Copic markers and also Prismacolors has their own thing, as well as many other brands out there. Basically, instead of being water-based, they are alcohol-based, which means that they dry up much quicker, but they also do much better blends. So they shouldn't tear the paper apart. So let's do a nice bit of blue. That looks good. Straight on to yellow. And last but not least, let's go with our red. I'm gonna wait till after until we first do our Sharpies and and Posca pens because I know Mariah Elizabeth loves using Posca pens as do I. They are a great way to paint on paper. So we're gonna do our swatches first and then check for leakage in the back. Included in the sketchbook kit, we do get two mechanical pencils, which I totally bypassed, but yeah, we do get them. They are my favorite kinds of pencils. Okay, they came preloaded. 
to sketch with. So here we have colored pencils, Copic markers, and let's test out our Sharpies. I figured I'd take different colors so that we have an idea of how dark we can get before it leaks over. Let's color something in this way and that way. Sharpies. And here are my Posca pens. It's just, oh, I have my pastillas there too. I have quite a few brands. I have Posca, I have Pastilla, which is the same thing. And then I have Choose Paint. I don't know whose brand that is. Wait, it's Pilot. They also make a lot of mechanical pencils. But yeah, we have all of these. So let's, let's shake them. Let's start off with the Posca pens. Let's, oh, look at that juiciness. That is so pretty. Let's make a nice line. Let's add our black paint. This is definitely the test. If this paper can handle paint markers, I'm going to be extra impressed because this here means that you can just sketch on the go with any of your favorite m m materials. Mind you though, I am taking it a little too far, but that's what I'm here for. Continue with Pastilla, Pastilla, Pastilla pens. And now onto our juice paint. Very opaque, very nice. And last but not least, our green juice paint. So let's give it a few minutes and check the back. So here we are. Everything, as you can see, has dried up. We have no markings. Let's turn the page and see if there's anything on the next page. And the answer is no. Okay, this is good. Now let's see the backside and oh. So the only things that show through are the alcohol markers, but they didn't leak onto the next page. So far, this is Good. And we can also see the Sharpies through. When it comes to the paint markers, absolutely nothing. Look at that. So here's the paint markers, and right here, nothing. Impressive. I do, however, see if you're going to handle the paper pretty rough like I am, you can remove it. Which, depending on your preference, could be great for removing things. Or if you don't want to remove it, you're going to have to be gentler than I am. But I am impressed. This paper is really good quality. And now we're going on to floofy things. And we're going to go with the Georgie pencil case. I can't believe this is a pencil case. This is absolutely ginormous. And I think it's even a little bigger than the original plushie. Hang on, let's let's take a look at the plushie. Hang on, I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, I'm, I'm back, I'm back. Here's the plushie, here's the pencil case. So it's definitely something that you keep as a decoration pencil case in your room for your cute setup. Wow, you didn't even take me out of the bag. Well, Georgie, this is not my problem, so I'ma see you. Goodbye. I'm keeping you safe from me. So the quality is absolutely soft, very cute. It genuinely feels like another one of Mariah Elizabeth's plushies because it has all these cute little embroideries. The design itself does not look cheaped out, but when you turn it around, we have a zipper. So let's go ahead and unzip Georgie on oh, the sounds wrong. All right, George, you ready? There we go. And we have a small storage space. I'm not sure if it's going to fit colored pencils. Oh, just spot on. I feel like this might be cute and turned into maybe a purse or a backpack. So for any of you grains that is good at sewing, you could probably add a couple of straps here and then put it around you. And I'm curious if it would take a phone. Let's go ahead and try a phone. No, it won't fit a phone. But my guess is Sharpies should be fine. Yep, Sharpies are okay. Posca pens, yep, totally okay. Copic markers, yep. And we could probably put some more Posca pens, like so. Atta boy, Georgie. Why, thank you, nerdy crafter. I swear, Mariah Elizabeth's character have a little bit too much attitude for me. Let's double check again with a colored pencil. So yeah, colored pencils might be too big, but anything else like Sharpies, Copic markers, Posca pens, those fit in very nicely. All right, let's take it up. Take all my stuff. Give me back my stuff. This is really cute. But now you know how much you can fit in there. It's similar to the idea of the pickle pencil case. And if you want to see it in more detail, you can see how much stuff you can actually put in there. Now we have the pickle laptop case. Oh my God. This is way bigger than I thought, but it's so soft. Part of me really wishes this was a pillow. Oh, wow. I feel like my cats are gonna sleep on this. So we have a compartment over here. This is very padded in the back. Not so much here, but on the flap itself, it is pretty soft and padded. And in order to get this aligned, there. 
this is what it looks like aligned and voila again part of me really wants to turn this into a pillow i could just put a button over here make a slit open over here and just stuff it should i do and in case you're wondering, there are no straps to hold it from. So it might make sense to put it if you are traveling in order to put it in your luggage so that it can keep your laptop protected or your tablet or all your technology. So it's not a carrying case, it is a protective case. It's so soft, oh my God. It's like petting a kitten dinosaur, kitty sword. <laughs> and now for the, that is cute. For the backpack, which I took the rainbow one, there were, I think, two or three other designs. But since I already had pickle, I wanted to go with something less intense. And, oh my god, the quality. Mariah, you speak into my heart. I can already feel that this is padded. Oh my god, the colors and the zippers and the details. So you have a front pocket here. Look at the tassels. <laughs> you get little tassel -y things. And the zipper, very nice. <laughs> My neck. <laughs> there are no side pockets, in case you were wondering for your water bottle. You're gonna have to put it in the front. And then for the main compartment over here, ooh. So we have quite a bit of space. Similarly to the pickle backpack that I have, the space in there is absolutely wonderful and i knew i felt padding so you have a padding over here which means you can put your tablet or your smaller laptop and we get a pocket on the inside so you can put things that you need quick access to if you want to see the capacity of these kinds of backpack definitely watch my previous video with all the other mariah elizabeth stuff from last year but the details the embroidery the sewing the faux leather all of this just feels really nice and it even comes with its own cute little tag. And it tells you all its features right here. So I feel like I'm probably using this one more than the pickle one, just because sometimes I do like to appear mature. Look at me, I am mature. I even grew a mustache. Oh, I'm very mature. <laughs> And so basically, here is everything that we tested in Mariah Elizabeth's new fall collection. I'm really excited to see if I can create an ultimate eraser, but only if you grains really want. I did buy 10 of them. I may have overdone it, but now it's in your hands. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by Raycon, who are huge supporters of this channel. But Jackie, what is Raycon? Ah, I am glad you asked, my little grain. For those of you who don't know Raycons, which are my favorite earbuds out there, which start at about only half the price of other premium brands out there with no compromise on quality. I love using my Raycons after a long day of work to just wind down and watch some gaming streams. And in many occasions, Salty Crafter will take them from me and watch TikToks in the middle of the night. The new everyday earbuds from Raycon offer an improved rubber oil look and feel, which gives you a really premium, just the feel of it. I mean, the touchiness of it is just very pleasant. And they also have optimized gel tips so that they do not fall off your ears. They give you absolutely wonderful noise isolating fit. I mean, look, they don't wanna fall off. No dangly things in your way. I mean, I'm trying to get them up, but they just don't wanna. Additionally, these little things will give you eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life. And anytime you're busy doing things conveniently there's a built-in mic so you can take your calls when you're on the go just a simple press of the button so what are you waiting for raycon has a 45 day happiness guarantee because they want to make sure that you are happy so check the link in the description box below go to buyraycon.com forward slash nerdy crafter to get 15 percent off your raycon purchase thank you raycon for being huge supporters of this channel and sponsoring today's video if you want to watch the previous mariah elizabeth themed video make sure you check up here and if you want to watch me unboxing some weird fidget toys make sure you check down here until then i will see you in the next video